Live from Waterford and Ungarvan, this is Waterford at One. Good afternoon, I'm Emer McKeown. Today's top stories. It's reported one of the people infected with coronavirus in County Clare is a healthcare professional. Unite Trade Union is asking the Labour Court to intervene in the industrial action at University Hospital Warsheford. Guardi are questioning two youths in connection with an armed robbery at an ATM in Warsheford City last night. And in sport, Kilkenny legend Tommy Walsh has been impressed by Warsheford start under new manager Liam Cahill. Three schools in County Clare are shut today after four members of the same family contracted the coronavirus. They had recently come back from northern Italy. Stephanie Rohan reports. Four members of the same family, two males and two females, are the latest confirmed cases of COVID-19. It's resulted in the closure of three schools in County Clare today. The health minister is urging people not to panic, saying the response will be appropriate. Simon Harris says schools and businesses shouldn't close unless they're told to do so. There will not be a one-size-fits-all solution for all schools as this situation unfolds. People shouldn't be taking unilateral actions. Um, so schools and businesses need not shut. If you need to shut, you'll be advised to do so by the public, uh, by the public health authorities. It's reported one of the people infected with the coronavirus in Clare is a healthcare professional. Director General of the HSE, Paul Reid, wouldn't comment on this, saying the patient is entitled to anonymity. It's not good practice to start um, identifying anybody during this process. We have to respect the, from a medical perspective, we have to perspe- respect the identity of anybody in this process. To date, six people in the Republic have been confirmed to have the coronavirus. All six had been in northern Italy. The HSE says €20 million Euro is going to be invested to open 25 ICU beds to help handle any further infections. There are calls for the Labour Court to intervene in the industrial action at University Hospital Warsheford. The strike by cleaners who are members of Trade Union Unite has entered its 10th day. WLOR's Sinead Ahern reports. Cleaning staff at University Hospital Waterford down tools on the 25th of February in a row over changes to their working conditions without consultation. Their union Unite has written to the Workplace Relations Commission seeking that the strike with service provider Momentum be referred to the Labour Court. Separately, Unite has also written to solicitors acting for the HSE pointing out its obligations under the HSE Procurement Supplier Charter to ensure that its suppliers comply with their legal and contractual obligations. In a statement, Regional Coordinating Officer Richie Brown hit out of the HSE's approach to the dispute, saying they're failing to ensure their service providers behave properly and have attempted to blame the very workers who care for patients for a dispute not of their making. He hopes that common sense will apply and that decency for all Unite members working at UHW will be restored. A man has been sentenced to three years in prison for keeping a brothel in Warsheford City. Marion Arsaranu of Three the Key Warsheford was arrested after a sting operation was set up by Gardaí on March 26, 2012. The Daily Mail reports that a Garda sergeant found a number on a website and posed as a punter when he visited the brothel. Warsford Circuit Court heard that one of the sex workers was the accused 23-year-old cousin. The court also heard that Marion Arsaranu had previously been jailed for five years in his native Romania for trafficking minors. Judge Eugene O'Kelly sentenced the 47-year-old to three years for the management of a brothel at his apartment with the final six months suspended. Guardian Warsford City are questioning two youths in connection with an armed robbery at an ATM last night. A man was withdrawing money from the AIB ATM on Paddy Brown's Road at around ten past eight when he was approached by four males. One had a knife and they threatened to stab the man if he didn't take out money and give it to them. The man was also searched by the youths and his phone and wallet were taken. Guardy arrived on the scene and a chase ensued. Two suspects were apprehended and arrested. The juveniles are currently being detained at Washford Garda Station. A mobile phone has been recovered. Gardaí are appealing for witnesses or anyone who may be aware of the incident to contact them on 051 305 300.
A Fine Gael TD has called on people to have patience as efforts to form a government seem to have stagnated. The parliamentary parties of Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil are meeting to discuss a six-hour policy meeting held yesterday. It's not expected Fine Gael is going to change its position on entering government, with the party preferring to head into opposition. TD Neil Richmond says he doesn't see any significant change coming today. Well, unless the Taoiseach seeks a mandate... There won't be any change. I think we're still at the early stages of any process that we might be on and we have a lot to discuss and we want to know how these policy discussions are going and what more needs to be discussed. Meanwhile, the president of Worshford IT says a stable government committed to a university for the South East is hugely important. He hopes the new government will be dedicated to the current national development plan. Willie Donnelly says Worshford must have the role as the university city driving the economic and social development in the South East region. We need to focus our attention in Waterford of creating the university city. I mean, we have 10,000 students in the city who come here to study, who are a vibrant part of the community. And if you look at other cities around Ireland, Galway, Limerick, Cork, they're all university cities and we need to make Waterford the university city. An executive engineer with Worshford Council says households in parts of the city will be asked to provide proof that their rubbish is being managed appropriately. The local authority is responding to repeated instances of illegal dumping on the outskirts of Ballybeg. Niall Kane spoke to Damien Tiernan on Daisha today. Unfortunately, it's a recurring problem in, in, in certain areas where people, you know, who choose not to use bins and not to use reputable bin companies end up with their, their waste dumped in places like this. Someone went to a bit of effort to bring it in there. It's not one or two bags that someone's just uh, quickly thrown out of a car. Like, you know, they were there for a few minutes doing it. He says that letters should be arriving today. Giving them two weeks to tell us who they manage their bins with, give us their, their account number with a bin company. Anyone we don't get responses from within the two weeks, we'll be caught knocking on the door. It's about 60, I think, we targeted there. We did some before Christmas in a different areas around the county. We've sent out hundreds of letters at this stage looking for this evidence from people. One fine has been issued to date, but uh, we're still in the process of giving them time to, to respond. The owner of a local car dealership says Worshiford is crying out for investment. It comes as the number of new car registrations in Worshiford fell by 17% so far this year. Petrol cars remain the most popular, followed by diesel and petrol electric, while Volkswagen is the most popular make. Tom Murphy is from Tom Murphy Car Sales. I have no explanation, but I would say it's a wake-up call for the powers that be to look at Waterford and see that we need investment, we need high-paying jobs, we need some new investment and we need some decentralisation of government departments. There was a very slight increase in the live register in Worshford last month. The number of people signing on in February was 6,704, an increase of 29 since the end of January. 40 people left the register in Dungarvan. However, an additional 69 people signed on in the city. Year on year, there was a drop of just under 5% or 325 people. Finally, over 2,000 jobs, including 150 in Belfast, are at risk after Europe's biggest regional airline flyby collapsed into administration. All flights have been grounded with immediate effect, including Flybe's twice-weekly flights from Cork to Cardiff and its multiple weekly services from Knock to Manchester, Edinburgh and Birmingham. WLR Sport With thanks to the Waterford Viking Marathon. Register now at Waterford Viking Marathon. WLR Sport With thanks to the Waterford Viking Marathon Register now at waterfordvikingmarathon.com Very good afternoon, I'm Gavin Wheel and starting with rugby and Connacht and Munster's upcoming Pro 14 games in Italy have been postponed due to the coronavirus outbreak Munster had been due to play Benetton in Treviso on March 21st while Connacht were set to play Zebre in Parma on March 28th The Pro 14 say they've made the decision in the interest of the safety of players, staff and fans. Meanwhile, staying with rugby in Italy's Guinness Six, Na- Six Nations match against England is set to be postponed due to the coronavirus outbreak. The game at Rome Stadio Olimpico on Saturday week has been scheduled to be played behind closed doors, but tournament organisers are expected to confirm the postponement later today. Anthony Watson and Mark Wilson will make their first starts for England since the World Cup final this weekend. They've both been named in the lineup for Saturday Six Nations clash with Wales at Twickenham. Sean O'Brien will make his debut for London Irish tomorrow. The Ireland flanker will line up for the Exiles in their clash with Sale Sharks. In soccer, the Republic of Ireland women's team continue their bid to qualify for Euro 2021 this evening. Vera Pau's unbeaten side welcome Greece to Tallis Stadium with Ireland sitting in second place in their group. Kick-off for that one is at a quarter past seven. 
Manchester United come up against their all-time leading goal scorer in their in the fifth round of the FA Cup this evening. The 12-time champions are at Championship side Derby, where Wayne Rooney is currently player coach. The winners will face Norwich in the quarterfinals. Meanwhile, Waterford FC return to action tomorrow night with Derry City making the long trek to the RSC in the Airtristy League Premier Division. The Blues hoping to pick up their first home win of the season. Kickoff is at quarter to eight. Matt Keane will have updates here on WR across the evening. There was a large turnout in the Granville Hotel in Waterford City last night for the Club Dacia Waterford City and Metropolitan Membership Launch. Waterford Hurling Manager Liam Cal was the special guest along with Dacia Football Captain Connor Murray along with the various inter-county managers. County Board Chairman Sean Michael O'Regan was thrilled with the turnout and says it was a really positive event. Huge turnout, Kieran. Absolutely brilliant. And it's great to see some of the past players here uh, and Liam Cahill is down and someone, you know, all all aspects of Waterford GA are here. The lady footballers are here, Lake Camogie is here, uh, the, uh, you know, the senior, senior football footballers as well. Connor. They're all Connors here. It's absolutely brilliant. You know, it just goes to show that Waterford are together. You know what I mean? There's a, a new buzz, a new era maybe hopefully there for everybody that Waterford uh, and all aspects of Waterford GA and, and life in Waterford, we're all going to join up together and at the hip and, and drive it on, you know. Waterford Hurlers return to action when they face Limerick in the final round of the league on Saturday evening with both sides already assured of a place in the knockout stages. The winners are set to make it through to the semi-final stages. Throw in at the LIT Gaelic Grounds is at 7. WLR will broadcast the game live thanks to George Corbett Skoda with Kieran O'Connor and Fergal Hartley, your commentators. And finally to Athletics for the indoor European Indoor Masters Championships due to be held in Portugal in two weeks' time have been postponed due to the coronavirus. Over 3,000 athletes are already booked in and entered. There are three Waterford athletes affected by the cancellation two from Waterford AC and one from West Waterford AC which is Joe Goff speaking to WLR Sport Joe says the Department of Health's call has to be respected Really in fairness there were a lot of of mixed messages coming through because some sporting fixtures are certainly going ahead I mean far far greater than than 3,000 people you know but um, I suppose look look at I mean look at the end of the day we have to accept what the Department of Health in Portugal say. And now there are there aren't currently no uh, cases of the virus in Braga, you know, which is a quite a big city, um, you know, which is north of Portugal, quite close to Porto. And finally, racing in Thurles is underway shortly. The opening race on the card at the tip venue goes to post at five past two. Sports news thanks to WaterfordVikingMarathon.com.